right guys welcome back and in this video i'll be showing you how to create split color text effect just using your canva right just like what you're seeing on the screen at the moment there are times you want to give your design a different look when it comes to the font presentation and you want to achieve something like this it is called split color text effect so i'll be showing you how to do that in this video so let's open our canva and uh, you can just choose the most comfortable workspace that you want right so um, the next thing you are going to do after you have done that is to bring in a text so i'll click on text and uh, i'll just be going for this hard heading okay, so we'll be editing that i just want to write creative all right so i want to write creative okay so then i want to change the uh, the font to a capital letter all through yeah i think this is awesome okay so and then i'll be changing the font type so i'll go to fonts and then i want to bring in something that looks interesting i think i love to use impact if i can see impact then that will be fine so let me just type it here and then i will search it out I want to use uh, the font called impact so let's see all right this is it here so let me select it then it has changed our font so i'm resizing it to uh you know the size that is most comfortable for me you can also do that for yourself okay so once this is done position it properly and put it in the middle just for balance sake now go back and then bring in um a shape all right so i'll just type in shape here we bring in a square shape actually i'm clicking on these all right so close that and then you can resize it properly the way you want i just want it to spread around the text and that's all i want for now okay so i will send this to the back so that i can see my text all right so i'll just send it to the back I can now select the text and then change the color. Alright, so I want to change the color of the text to white. In this case, so I will just come and then change the color to white. Alright, so that is done. Uh, then I can resize it and just put it normally. You know, the way I just want it to be. Okay, fine. That is it. Then I'm going to duplicate this page. You can, you know, zoom in and then you click on the plus button. Or possibly you click on this and then you duplicate all right so let me just delete this other one then i will work with these two so we can go to the second slide now then i want to change this color to something different so that when we are doing the splitting we can see the effect of what we are doing all right so and this is the color that i love to use okay so the moment this is done then we we'll just go ahead and save the two pages that we have just designed that have the two intending colors that we want to use. so you click on export button then you move to download and then you are going to save these two don't forget to save uh with png please don't forget to save with png and uh to remove background make transparent background all right so we are going to click on download right so we are finished downloading so the next thing i'm going to do is to create a new workspace and just slide to the next page and then a new one will be created all right so and then i move to gallery and then i'll just import my new uh, saved pictures that we just saved just now all right so we have the two of them here what i'll be doing is that i will be superimposing them on uh, each other so i'll just do this superimpose it on themselves so the next thing i'm going to do is to just slide in the first picture halfway to wherever i want it to stop and then i can tap on the second one and then slide it the way i want it also to stop wherever i want it to stop i just want it to happen in the middle so the next thing i'm going to do is to group these two guys together so i'm going to select the first one click on the three dots and then click on multiple 
selection and then tap on the second one then i'll group them together then i can come and then zoom them over uh you know my design space and make it balance so you increase the size of course and then you just ensure that you do that gently and make it have a good balance in the design all right guys and we are practically done with this tutorial i believe you love what you're seeing and if you do please kindly click on the like buttons and then share this video with your friends if you have any question go to the description box below and then ask i will be glad to attend to you um that brings us to the end of this video till i come your way next time again bye for now